Hello world and welcome back to Sales Toner. Today I'm going to be talking about face masks. And uh, before I go on, I don't know why you haven't subscribed yet. I bring you tip top, good, top shelf quality content and I really can use the support. Comment, like, subscribe uh, so that the algorithm can push my videos and more people can watch them. So today I'm going to be talking about face masks. Face masks, uh, they range in their grade of protection in the level of protection that they provide um the most protective face mask you can get is called the n95 uh, face mask it is the one worn by miners the industrial grade mask you know the one that is that looks hard and when you touch it you know it feels hard when you wear it uh, you really cannot properly breathe that is the n95 face mask some of them they have these metallic parts on the nose so that you can really mold your nose on the mask and be totally totally protected then there is the second one the surgical mask um that one you know provides less protection the n95 as the name suggests it filters about 98 of all particulates in the air so it really gives you a lot of protection but the surgical mask it filters about five some say to ten percent if it is uh, viruses if it is pollen it filters about 70 to 90 percent pollen dust if properly one the surgical mask is rather harder to wear because it is just like a piece of cloth or fabric or synthetic material and so you need to really really put it on properly to get the full benefit but even if you put it on properly it doesn't benefit you as much as putting on uh, n95 face mask and you know i live in africa and most people cannot afford to buy face masks let alone the n95 face mask so people are getting really inventive and masks are ranging from the ridiculous to the inventive so when it comes to cloth masks you know all you can do is increase the number of uh, the ply number the number of folds you put on your mask if it is just one sheet of cloth obviously you are not as protected so just increase the amount of folds that you put on on your mask you know and make sure it's a snug fit I like the fact that um, as I'm on lockdown currently, I've been on lockdown for about five weeks now and the lockdown is being relaxed a little bit. People are being allowed to move out, uh, to conduct necessary essential business and putting on face masks has been made, you know, a rule, a guideline, a law. So uh, since everybody has been told to put on a face mask, it helps more because if an infected person puts on a face mask, it's more beneficial than for an uninfected person to put on a face mask. And then the person coughs in the air, the aerosols get spread, you know. A person can easily contract the runner. But if an infected person coughs while he's wearing a face mask, the effect, you know, will be a little bit lessened. So it's good, I hope, as the lockdowns are being re uh, relaxed, infections won't go up. We will keep on flattening the curve. And, you know, just enjoy these pictures of <laughs> the face masks that people are putting on. And as I said, like subscribe we'll return to our normal programming while uh once the rona is over or even if the rona is not over you know if i just i just make these videos on my